all in this video I want to go over media scheduling and um, this is one of my favorite parts of the local Viking tool just because we can do some really interesting optimization at the hyper local level uh, but essentially we're gonna go in here to new media uh, we have the option to do single media or multi location media we'll select single because this is obviously a single location we can select the category of the photo I'm gonna leave it unspecified we can decide to schedule the media um, if we'd like we can select what date and time we would like the media to be scheduled um, I want to show you guys the live post so I'm gonna opt out of that and then we can choose from gallery obviously we can browse our files and upload we also have a the Windows client. We also have a stock photo engine built into the back end of Local Viking. So we can select a photo, we can crop however we'd like. And then here comes again my favorite part. If we click over here to EXIF, this is where we can populate the metadata of the image, or we can geotag the image, or however you'd like to however you'd like to refer to it as. Um, right here is keep exif. If we tick the edit exif box, um, we can add any of the exif data we'd like and then of course the preview, if I can spell, of course the preview <laughs> is going to show us what that's going to look like. My favorite thing is that if we click recommended exif data, what it's going to do is use our tokenized system we built inside a local Viking to pipe your GMB data into the into the EXIF data of the image, and then you can add your keywords, you can modify any of this, and a super duper favorite part is for the GPS section. If we untick the use GPS from location, we can add our own latitude and longitude to this to this section. So if you guys checked out the Webby we did, we can actually pull under performing nodes from the geogrid inside local Viking. We can grab the GPS coordinates of those nodes and enter them here. It helps a bit with your hyper local optimization. We'll click OK and that's going to pull that in. Again, you can download these light later with all of the EXIF data inside of them. So it is like we have a standalone geotagging engine inside of Local Viking. We're going to go ahead and click Save. And that is going to post our media here in just a second. And then so that's done. We can pop over here. Well, it took us right to the media section and then you can see our photo right here we can download it we can delete it it lets us know that it's published and I like this better than conventional geotagging because Google wipes that data when you upload it to the platform we're taking the EXIF data that you added into the image and we're injecting it directly through GMB's API so there's you know there's no theory about whether or not Google's reading it or parsing that data out of the image and storing it, we're pushing it directly through the API. So that is how we schedule media in local Viking, guys. Thanks.